At the end of the anime erase, Satoru finally reunites with best girl Airi, and that's great. So why this disappointing feeling? People are mad at Airi because she was kind of irrelevant, insofar as the plot wouldn't really have changed if she didn't exist. True in a literal sense, but for the story's core message, which communicates the importance of having courage, Airi is indispensable. She's supposed to be a peripheral character because she represents a wasted romantic opportunity caused by Satoru's pessimism, and her disappearance for the majority of the anime is just the aftermath of an MC who lacked courage to seize a romantic opportunity when it presented itself. Conversely, once Satoru becomes more courageous by the end of the story, he and Mari are finally given a chance to reunite. Some of us feel disappointment towards the quote-unquote wasted romantic buildup between Satoru and Kaiyo's kids, which didn't lead anywhere. But this sense of disappointment is another aspect of courage in the story. We're supposed to feel a bit empty or frustrated that Satoru doesn't get with Kaiyo, because the result of courage is often double-edged sword. It opens opportunities for success when we take risks, but sometimes we stumble or fall in the process. Courage operates by revealing paths, but it doesn't guarantee we'll complete the trek. Nevertheless, the journey itself is rewarding, because we learn more about ourselves and others. And I really commend the authors here for their discipline, as they refuse to over-glorify the MC for all his hard work. Instead of rewarding him at journey's end with a fairy tale marriage with the girl he rescued, he simply receives a second chance with Pizza Girl Irie. Satoru finally demonstrates that courage is both genuine and self-serving. It can reasonably be interpreted that his motivation to help Kaio is one of self indiction desire to purge his past feelings of regret for never having befriended Kaio, thereby allowing her to transpire into depression and death. Having become witness, however, to so much potential loss and suffering thanks to his revival ability, one can also imagine that these experiences instilled a nearly religious passion in Satoru to help others. At the end, we aren't confident whether Satoru's desire to help Kaio is selfish or honest, but this is precisely the beauty of the anime, because the authors want us to ponder the concept of the duality of courage and how courage really impacts and drives this whole story. And that's the ending explained, folks. Thanks for tuning in.